How's it going, everybody? So Echo and the Bunny Man, um, Michael had sent us, showing us that in the video, it begins with an eclipse. That's a lunar eclipse. And we know that James Bond showed us the lunar eclipse um, in Skyfall. I'm sorry. <laughs> in Spectre, in the movie Spectre. And I want to also give you the time frame of how all of this is going to work out for us, I do believe. Barbenheimer. So Barbenheimer, as they put it there for us perfectly, we're going to copy and paste. So we'll put Barbenheimer. They actually have Barbenheimer movie. And they bring it over. So let's look at the images for Barbenheimer. They're, they both came out on July 21st. And you see, you see Oppenheimer next to Barbie. You see Oppenheimer and Barbie. And Barbie's like sitting on top of the world. And Barbie's driving her pink car. It's always the pink theme with Barbie. That's very important. Here is Barbenheimer, the fusion. They've got uh, him dressed like a woman. Here's more fusion. Uh, the split face. Uh, here, Barbie is sitting on Oppenheimer's shoulders and the explosions in the background. But I think it's pretty clear that Barbie's pink. And there's the pink explosion right there. I think I want that photo. Hang on, let me save it. Yeah, the explosion is pink. That's kind of perfect, isn't it? Because we have a pink full moon in April. Why did they name April's moon pink? You know, it's about flowers and I don't know. They need, but you got a flower full moon in May. Why did they call it the pink full moon? Blooming pink flowers. There you go. The flower full moon is in May. Hmm. April and May kind of joined at the hip, aren't they? So in IPEC GOAT, they show, we'll get to that video in a second. Let's get back to IPEC GOAT. In IPEC GOAT, the explosion is at the 504 mark, which, by the way, is May 4th. It's at the 504 mark, you get the explosion. Boom. Still 504. That's the Kentucky Derby date. And, of course, a high watch date for his event. If time keeps traveling. And that would be the double meaning of the big explosion is the shot heard around the world that opens the book of Revelation for us two days later, right? His crowning moment when he rises up spiritually from the pit and he's possessed by Satan. It's a spiritual rising. And if you have a pink explosion, if you have an April explosion, because the explosion movie is fused with pink Oppenheimer fused with Barbie and Echo and the Bunny Man that opens up the um, Donnie Darko Echo and the Bunny Man it's called the Killing Moon and that's the name of the song Easter 2024. March 31st. According to the Old Farmer's Almanac, what day is Easter? 
Easter is always held on a Sunday. Hence, the name Easter Sunday. In 2024, it will be held on Sunday, March 31st. Okay. Got it. Thank you. AI. So, Echo and the Bunny Man, they give us the eclipse. And this movie is all about Donnie Darko, Donald's darkened right eye. So, the eclipse that they show us, well, we know there's a lunar eclipse. The new moon is right at 500, which is Antichrist in Strong's Accordance, G500. The new moon is 500, March 10th. And the full moon lunar eclipse is at 300, March 25th. Then you're going to go to, in the movie, in the movie Spectre, when he cuts to, or when they cut to him looking at his laptop, Boom. You get the date of the lunar eclipse. And aren't you looking at like a circle, like symbology of a darkened moon or an eclipted moon? And they give you 325, which is the date of the lunar eclipse. It's fused with two... 254 in the 254th day of the year except for sorry for the dead airspace my mind just went blank because I'm thinking about five six seven different things at once and uh but it's a, um, I crack myself up sometimes, a leap year. But 2001 was not a leap year. So that big event occurred on day 254. So they're fusing the event with the full moon. Now we know an eye pet goat, he comes up with his right eye wound rising up through a full moon. He doesn't really go down on a full moon. He rises up through a full moon. And we know that he rose on, uh, we know that he will spiritually rise on the third day. Um, so is his event like March 23rd and he comes up from the abyss spiritually, there's the right eye wound. I guess I should have stopped it where you can see the right eye. But right there, the right eye is closed. We see him earlier, you know, with the right eye injury, laying in his mom's lap or whatever. And um, blew it up for you a little bit more there. So he comes up and he comes up through. He's rising from the abyss. He's rising from the pit. It's a spiritual rising. We know that the Dark Knight Rises movie he came up literally out of a pit and I mean, is it, if it's going to be perfect that he, where's my volume? It ain't good. Sorry. I should check it every time because for some reason it defaults it down to a lower. Now you can hear me better, can't you? Yeah. The Zoom AI likes to play with us. I didn't, I've never clicked that I want their AI assistance. When I bought a car, straight ordered a car straight from the factory, they said, Do you, you know, do you want the smart driving, the smart braking, the AI helping you drive? You know, nope. Because there's no telling what that will turn into once times change spiritually on this earth. But yeah. 
he rises up through a full moon and that lunar eclipse of 325 that's march for his event for his right eye event is it march 8th i think it's march 11th through may 4th is my best time frame for the event because the solar eclipse that we've shown you with Patrick Swayze eclipsing the sun and they say sun, sun. And, um, Hey, that's Donnie Darko's kid or no, that's, that's so-and-so, so-and-so's kid. That's Donnie Darko. And Donnie wakes up and he's got the 28 on his arm for the 28 days, six hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That that's the day the world will end. The bunny tells him Frank, the rabbit tells him. And, 28 days before the eclipse is March 11th. March 11th is when they did their deed in 2020. Two days later, or on the third day, Mr. Big did his deed for the United States. So that was March 11th, March 13th. Now, the new moon is March 10th, like we've said. So once you get into March 10th and that new moon, that's 500. Now, what if he rises um, on that March new moon at 500? The earliest he could really go down in March, in my opinion, then would be March 8th. I guess we have to squeeze that in. And because it's Antichrist, it's 500 is the time of the new moon. And then, you know, he would just, I don't know, go full on Antichrist coming up through that lunar eclipse. So he doesn't really go down two days before on March 23rd. It's speculative. It's it's hard to say exactly how, what, when, why, where they're going to do what they're going to do when they're going to do it. We just look at breadcrumbs, don't we? We just put puzzle pieces together. We're Robert Langdon, aren't we? From the Da Vinci Code. We look at clues. Uh, the serious stuff is telling the truth in God's word, that there's no free will. Hell is not eternal torment. That God doesn't love everybody. He loves his sheep. That's why Jesus said, I never knew you. That's the important stuff. That he chose his sheep, or he have chosen us in him from before the foundation of the world, before the earth was even made. Abraham's faith, already written into the script. The word was before the earth was even formed, was the word. And that means... What Abraham did in the word of God was already set in stone, written into the script before the earth was even made. And that's that that's married to Isaiah 4610, which is married to John 1 1. That's the important stuff. This is just the hobby. This is just the fun stuff. Because once this all begins, it won't be fun anymore. It won't be fun for anybody. It certainly won't be fun for me, probably for a lot of other reasons, but it definitely isn't going to be fun for anybody. Now, there's a lot of Mystery Babylon that's going to be chilling out on the sidelines with their food and water and electricity while it's going on but there's a lot of them that are going to be left out in the cold that think they're going to be protected too now that's another story for another day that i don't even feel like telling we just know that the joker was knocking off his own people because they were when they were no longer needed so how many members of mystery babylon once the book of revelation is opened are they needed anymore because it's going to be war famine death to one out of four people and then he just comes back seemingly from the dead ending world war three who can make war with the beast for the big explosion we see an ipad goat in the movie oppenheimer he just comes back and says he's risen from the dead and the earth is completely supernatural at that point so why is mystery babylon members at lower levels needed they aren't when he comes back, the earth is supernatural. All goats will worship 
the image of the beast. They will become possessed. Is Mystery Babylon needed? No. Just not needed anymore. And the Joker, as soon as they did their job, which Mystery Babylon, they've all been doing their jobs, haven't they? In their little corners of the world. In every nook and cranny and corner of the world. They're just not needed anymore. They're just not. And God does the same thing with his sheep. Sheep are born lost. They get the call. They do their job. Every apostle was killed. Maybe with the exception of John. I'm not, we're not sure about that one. God came and died in the flesh. Apostles came. They died. Everybody's on a need-to-know basis. It's just that the narrow way is from one spirit realm. The broad way is from another spirit realm. All on a need-to-know basis. And when you're no longer needed, the sheep glorify God through their death, through their tribulation. And that's why you get that Bible verse. Um, I need to actually memorize the Bible verse. Um, what a terrible thing it is to fall into the hands of a great and dreadful God. I butcher the Bible verse. It's Hebrews 10, 31. Okay, let's remember that. Come on, that's like a date. I think we can remember that date. Hebrews 10, 31. I say all that just so it'll Google a very small verse. I said like a whole paragraph. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Sheep are all lambs to the slaughter. So let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. 325 they give us in like a moon state in the movie Skyfall, which Skyfall begins with Day of the Dead. That's how the movie opens up. New system online, 325. I would say that at that point, the book of Revelation is opened and you're living in it in real time. That's why it says new system online. That's Q. And he goes and he opens it up, opens up his laptop. And there you get it. 325 fused with 254. 911 was on day 254. New system online in March 23rd. And this is what is what it's saying to you. Now, you also have 54 there, which is, of course, that May 4th, which I think, again, that's the Kentucky Derby date. Mm, that's the last possible date because 28 days before and 28 days after this eclipse, and Donnie Darko, when, when Patrick Swayze eclipsed the sun, Donnie had the 28 on his arm, so... The time frame you have to look at is 28 days before and 28 days after. Somewhere in there will be the deadly wound event. But I think because of the explosion fused with pink and the pink moon is April, which means the explosion part is April, which means the going down part is before that because an IPEC goat the right eye wound takes place way before the explosion. Hebrews 10.31. Can I remember that, please? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. But we uh, definitely not how you speak to the Lord. But if you ask the Lord, you say, Lord, can I, can I please, if it be your will, remember Hebrews 10.31. And so I think we can. 
had to humble myself down there when I started thinking about how I was saying that. Because your memory, if I did remember it, that would come from the Lord. So how are we going to, what let me see. What is the name of the March full moon? Worm. Doesn't that kind of signify death? Earthworms warming the soil. Worms associated with death. Will they say that he's he's with worms? When somebody dies, they say he's with the worms. Um, denied God and thus dies eaten by worms, Acts 12, 23. Eaten by worms comparison. Well, I didn't ask for the Bible. I just said when someone dies, worms come and eat them. But if I... The worms that appears to devour the corpse aren't really worms at all, at least not in the sense of earthworms. They are maggots. Okay. And, um, but it's an expression that I was actually looking for. And, uh, but the Bible does speak to death and the worms. And, oh, where the worms dieth not. That's right. The grave. It's associated with the grave, where the worms dieth not. Where the worms dieth not, Bible verse. Mark 9.48. Where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And that, of course, is the grave. Um, the fire is not quenched in the lake of fire but they're dead when they're thrown into the lake of fire, killed by the flame of Revelation 29, and they're referred to as dead. Uh, moving forward and going into the lake of fire is kind of like a cremation process. Hell is not eternal torment. Where the worm dieth not. So the worm full moon is based off of that, not what they tell you about making the soil fertile. The AI writes the script for this earth, the ghost in the machine, and the ghost in the machine must follow the exact script given by the Lord, who has ordained all things from the beginning. He's declared the beginning. He's declared the end from the beginning, Isaiah 46.10. So it's the worm full moon. So he's going down in March and spiritually rising, more than likely through that March full moon. And then you'll be living in the book of Revelation in real time two days after his right eye fake stage deadly wound event. It won't be him that goes down. It'll be a body, body double. Some have said a clone. Who knows? But, uh, that's my best guess at this time that you're looking at. If not, the time frame is definitely after the Republican convention. It leads right into their um, gigantic ritual known as the Olympics. Opening ceremonies, usually the biggest of the uh, ritual. But then you get your closing ceremonies now, the opening ceremonies are on 726, which is Antichrist in English Dematria, which is English Ordinal or Simple Dematria times 6. Instead of A is 1, B is 2, A is 1, excuse me, A is 6, B is 12, C is 18, D is 24. It's all multiples of 6. Well, Antichrist, which is 121 in English Ordinal or Simple Dematria, where A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, Z is 26. 121 times 6 is 726. Yes, the opening ceremonies are 726. So that's either symbology, that that'll never take place because we'll be knee-deep 
living in the book of Revelation, going through war and the famine and the death, awaiting his return at the Ring of Fire solar eclipse. October 2nd, the Donnie Darko date. But if not, once you get to that 726 opening ceremonies and the closing ceremonies is the last day of the dog days of summer, on August 11th, Sirius, the dog star rises the next day, Trump's year of the dog, Chinese New Year. That's what Sirius, the dog star, is all about. And then I'm looking big time, two days before that, August 19th, full moon, I'm looking at August 17th. Now, August 6th is also a big high watch day. You have already have had the, because August 6th is saying 86. When you write the date, and he would rise on August 8th, which is 88. Now, day 86 is big. Day 86 is 326. Day 88 is 328. That's big also. Now, that's after the full moon. But in the movie Tenet, it was all about going backwards and forwards through time. So... And James Bond, if he goes down on 327 and then rises, goes backwards through time like the movie Tenet allowed for, then he goes backwards through time, goes backwards two days and rises up through that full moon on 325 because James Bond did have, in the movie Spectre, that began with the Day of the Dead, You do have 327 on the door. Now, that could have a lot of different meanings when you look at something like that. 32 is Eve and simple gematria. Seven's number for cleansing. It's time to cleanse the church when the book of Revelation is opened. Um, but of course, he's a skeleton there. And Donnie Darko also had the skeleton outfit signifying... I'm dead. Uh, the anti or saying the Antichrist is dead. Donnie Darko skeleton outfit. So there's him wearing the skeleton right there. Uh, in the movie, that's him with the skeleton outfit over there to the left. That's him to the left. That's him sitting there. Talking, I think her name was Gretchen with his hoodie on, but he, you see the skeleton outfit. So both Donnie Darko, which stands for Donald being darkened, or James Bond have the uh, skeleton outfit signifying death, saying, I'm dead. And so he's saying... And that photo, that on 327, he's dead. Or that's the day he's going to die. I just, you know, how do you know? There's no way to know. That's why I run this by y'all. See, see if something grabs you. You know, what can you contribute? So anyway, it's very interesting. All right. And... um yeah, I'll do a prep in another video. All right, love you.